What's up, y'all? I'm Steve. Welcome back to another edition of Spooky Sundays with Steve. Today we're checking out a game called Paranormal Entities. You are Cliff, a college student who is a brand new freelance cameraman for the show Paranormal Entities, the number two rated ghost investigation show on the hunting and outdoors cable network. You've been hired to inspect the St. Augustine Asylum for the Mentally Ill. You will go into this facility, follow the producer's instructions through a radio earpiece, keep your camera on, and try to make contact with the spirits inside. If nothing happens, you get $500 for your time. If you manage to get some amazing footage of real paranormal activity on your camera, comma, <laughs> I don't know. I'll put a link to the game in the description. Let's check it out. Augustine's Asylum for the Mentally Ill. My producer Tom said good things about you. In your backpack is a flashlight, a voice recorder, an EMF, and a couple of little fun occult things. We'll let you know when to take those out. Ready to pay off some of those college debts and beer tabs? Well, of course you are. And when you're ready, enter in through those front doors. So, less of um, a cameraman, more of a main... Like what? What? What's the producer's role in this? Ugh. Okay. I'm the only one going in. I'm. Ta I take it. Uh, producer. I can't get in. Oh, this was a jam game, but already it's looking way more fleshed out than than that. Oh, we go this way. Nice. The door was unlocked. Ah, it can get a little sticky sometimes. So here's the story. These pews. Augustine's asylum for the mentally ill. It was founded in the 1880s, closed in the 1960s, and a lot of nasty stuff happened here. I mean, this place is only supposed to house around 500 patients, but at its peak, it was around 3,300 patients in here. I mean, the place was, you know, less of a hospital and more of a place where you dropped your problems off and hoped they disappeared. Hmm. Hmm. Uh. Why would this be like the art that they frame on the wall? It's also hard to get a good look at most things because the flashlight kind of washes everything out. Hmm. All right, I checked all the things. Uh, I can't go anywhere. In the end, this place was sort of against what the Bible's supposed to teach. I mean, there was no love here, no grace, no healing. The patients were not here to be rehabilitated. Ordinary people just wanted them gone from public. They shove those with non-threatening mental conditions or those deemed inappropriate to society together with legitimate psychopaths and murderers and other violent monsters and basically said, let God sort it out. The atrocities in here are just too much to count. The death toll was unreal. The violence, the disease, the abuse, nobody cared. And once you came to this place, you never left. Hmm. Okay. What do I do? Help me. <laughs> they put a crucifix behind this pipe. Nobody can see it there. Hmm. I don't know about all this. Uh oh. Had we checked that before? They seriously just send one, this like, intern in? Why, why do I need this information? I'm just here to get some footage. Just tell me you need to, need me to go in a, in a room you need me to go to. Alright, this is a good place to start. I want you to take uh -oh. out your voice recorder and I'll hopefully be able to awaken this place. Awaken. Okay, spirits of St. Augustine, please reveal your presence to us. Don't. Show us that you are in this room. Feel free to interact with anything or speak to us. Use hmm. your words, use your voice, and let us know that you're here. Hmm. Okay, play that back. Let us know that you're here. The producer really should be in here. Uh, nothing. Alright, let's try that again. Hmm. Alright, alright, 
Obviously, it's going to work this Ghost time, right? Ghosts of St. Augustine, please let us know that you are still in this hospital. I give you permission to reveal yourself. I give you permission <laughs> to come to life. I hate this. Just give us a sign that you are here. Tell us where you are. Speak to us now into this microphone. All right, check that. Okay, it's going to be on the playback. The Try one more spot. Hmm. <sighs> Ghosts of St. Augustine, you're Keep all a bunch on purpose. of foolish pricks. Show up Don't do that. or piss off. Uh, <laughs> stupid. Watch. Play that back, play that back. Don't play it back. Pricks, show up or piss off. <laughs> all right, all right. We, looks like we got an investigation. All right, I want you to go down the morgue hallway, and we're gonna continue our investigation in the other gathering area. Why? I bet. I after seeing that, we leave. We would leave. We would. You've got enough. Come in with a team. Why would I go alone? What's your budget? Come in the daytime. Oh. I mean, this game so far has been really good okay, at... Okay, the four areas you need to visit to fulfill your contract, the e-social area is the first on the list. This building is the suspense. area where the inmates who are deemed a danger to society would convene. You'll go to this room and perform a summoning ceremony. So walk into the center and we will begin. I guess... I'm here. I turned around. I don't even know where I came from. Uh, there's not one of those arrows like there was before when it needed me to go somewhere. Here, I'm in the center. Are you just... waiting to freak me out? Okay. Let's continue checking the doors, I guess. Ugh. Bipolarism, schizophrenia, dementia. Not necessarily dangerous, but it could be a challenge for society. Dang, the door's locked. That sucks. Oh, I feel like it'll open. No, it's not gonna they're not gonna throw the door open on me. Hmm. Oh good, I'm no stuck. Here. We <laughs> from your restraints. Come forward and live again. This person is no longer shielded from the realm of the dead. You may be seen, mm. interact, and manipulate him in mm. any way as you see fit. Mm. Why? Why do you say things like that? Oh, you're in on it. <gasps> He's in on it. He, he, he's in cahoots with the ghosts. It's like, um, Little Shop of Horrors, when the protagonist has to get victims for the... Uh, 
for the monster. That's what he's doing. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to open? Should I come in? Buh. Hmm? I mean, let's check it out. No? Alright. Huh. <laughs> I'm, I'm so tense. Ah, relax. But not too much. Mm-hmm. Nothing? Nothing is going to happen? the uh, battery on my camcorder is ever going to change. Hello? Ma'am? You can't be in here. <laughs> Ma'am? Ma'am? No eyes. Don't see peeper. Cut him out. I don't care how good this game is. I'm not doing anything to my eyes. Get the hell out of there. Just, just go to the front door and get out. Why? Why now? <laughs> this is the one speed my character goes. Great. Great. Pick it up. Why? Second right. Here? Is that how I came in? I don't know if that's right. Damn it, damn it. Oh, okay, there's a, there's a staircase. Take the staircase up the second floor, and you should be next to a fire escape. You should be able to get out that way. So, so go up the staircase. No, why? Why would I ever go upstairs? That's the worst idea. Break the walls down. We're not going upstairs. <laughs> Where's the staircase? <laughs> This one? Ugh. Anything over here? No? Mm. Oh, thanks for closing that for me. Mm. Oh, you mother... Mm. Crap. Uh, okay, we need to... Let's go get something to pry this door open. Go back downstairs. I, I bet you there was something downstairs we could probably use. Oh good, now we can go this way. Oh good, a hold basement. On, hold on. That staircase wasn't there before. This place doesn't even have a basement. What the, what, what is going on? All right, I right, just I don't think you got any other choice. I think you got to make your way downstairs. I mean Hmm. Hmm. I better get more than five hundred dollars for this. Hmm. Is this repeating? Surgery. I didn't put that there. Oh, there's those boxes. I'm gonna be stuck here, aren't I? No. All right. I don't understand. Hmm. Hmm. 
It's okay. It's just a computer game. Uh oh. I can get through that. Doggy door. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Uh, we go back to that. Cow person? Wait, oh, this is different. Crap. Mm. Do I even need to worry about the doors on the sides anymore? Uh, let's go for it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fully covered in goosebumps. Great. I guess that was a sign that we're going the right way. Oh. <laughs> That's cool. Uh. Oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, cool. <laughs> Uh, just keep turning around and things are going to keep changing. Don't see. No eyes. Oh. No? Blood. Hi. <laughs> uh, what do I do here? Hello? My eyes. Okay. Huh? Oh. Oh, things chilled out a little bit. All right. I'm stuck in this room. Hmm. I'm not doing that. And these these eyes are in too good of a shape for uh, having been forked. I, I don't believe any of this. Let's just go. Uh, no doors. Just just just. Damn flashlight broke. Oh good. Can't use that anymore. Oh whatever. Oh no. <laughs> flashlight broke. Oh no. Everything's gonna be different. Hmm. Guess we gotta check these doors out. Run? Run? What? I can't run! My character cannot run! Oh, is there something back here now? Oh. Uh Yeah. Run. Run. 
don't have to hold the flashlight up anymore. <laughs> hmm. We're good. We're fine. Oh, good. <laughs> I just close your eyes. That's all you gotta do. I can't move. I'm stuck. It's gonna make me do this thing. It's gonna make me do the thing. Uh. And then what? Holy crap, man. I can't believe you just did that. You freaking gouged your eyes out with a scalpel. You told me to. Are you alright? <laughs> I know you're not, huh? from your camera. Bad news is it's pitch black. There, there's no light. Your room, there's nothing I could see. The flashlight went out, and, and we, we don't even know where you are. I'm not going in there. I, I, do you, are you going in there? I'm not going in there. Thanks. I'm, hell no. Thank you. A solid uh, team you got there. Uh, I'm, if you can't feel anything, I, I'm sorry. We're not coming. <laughs> Call the cops. I'm sorry, man. Call the police. I have to go. What? I'm sorry. This is the worst internship ever. <laughs> Thanks for playing. I'll leave a link to the game in the description. This was actually really, really great. Really good build up. Great story. That that the pace that I walked though that was that was frustrating, but I think it it all it all contributes to the feeling of unease and terror. <laughs> yeah, great job. If you enjoy watching me get spooked, spooky Sundays every Sunday, be sure to subscribe. If there's a game that you'd like me to check out, let me know in the comments. Thanks for hanging out, y'all. I'll see you next time. Love you. Bye.